this message was meant to find you. What does the universe have to say to you today? There's a reason that you found this tarot card reading. So welcome back to Hope Tower Daily. My name is Angie. I'm a tarot card reader for England. This tarot reading is between you, the universe and your intuition. And it's up to you if you claim it or not. It is timeless. So it's relevant from the moment you come into contact with it. And welcome back. I've been in bed sick for the last week. I'm on heavy duty antibiotics. I'm feeling okay today. Yesterday was the first day where I actually thought I'm actually hungry. So I had something to eat. I've been eating little bits and pieces over the last week. But I've literally been in bed. I just couldn't do anything. Um, frantic fevers and illness and all of it. Um, so there we go. We have that. Uh easing myself back into work i'm self-employed i have to work we all have to work absolutely all of us are in the same boat so the blessings card jumped out i'm going to take that today so i'm going to split this deck into four four elements four seasons most importantly for angels offering us a circle of protection so we can give and receive all of these messages with an open heart and an open mind. Financial health, I think we could all do with that at the moment, with prices arising and passion. Do what makes you feel passionate, follow your heart, follow the thing that makes you want to get out of bed in the morning when you don't particularly want to get out of bed in the morning. Um, there's things that we have creative passion over, there's things that... We can think, right, if I get all of this horrible stuff out of the way, I can then go and do this great thing that I love. If we ignite our passion in life, we open up to laws of attraction and we're just making our hearts sing and our vibration a lot higher. There could be passion between you and another person, counting your blessings. You may have to really look at your financial health right now. Uh, especially with everything that's going on in the world. I don't know what it's like anywhere else, but the UK, we're getting hit hard with everything. Um, yeah, so budget, prioritise and make adjustments where you need to. And, you know, it's a good, you, you'll be okay. Um, having that sense of freedom. Our freedom is the state that, we have in our minds, you know, we can be in a cage, but we can be free in that cage. Or we can be out in the middle of a field and feel trapped. Um, it's a, a state of your mind. You can be locked in a room and consume a book and be transported into a whole other world. No one can trap you. The only person that can trap you is yourself. Um, so, yeah, let yourself out. Find your passion. Make the awful jobs that we have to do worthwhile. Trust the person we need to trust the most of is ourselves. If we can't trust ourselves, how can we trust anybody else? Because if we don't trust ourselves, how do we look at other people around us and know that they're trustworthy or not? If we trust ourselves to put boundaries around ourselves, we can make sure that no one's getting beyond them boundaries unless they earn our trust. If we can't trust ourselves, there'll be people who will come in <clears throat> and manipulate us and say that we need to trust them. We should trust them more than we trust ourselves. Trust starts with us. If we trust we're only ever going to let the good in our life and reject the bad from our life, then we're, we're, doing, we're going to do all right, you know. Um, yeah, it's nice. Lighten your load. Lighten your load. Even if things are getting tight financially, all of the things, lighten your load of delegate. If you live with other people, get them on board with doing the chores. If you <clears throat> at work, you don't have to do everyone else's workload. Do your own. If you've got time left over, help other people by all means. But do what you need to do and make sure you leave time for passion in your life whatever that is, maybe it's someone you love, maybe there's something you love, maybe it's a hobby that you love, hold on to that little bit of something that makes your heart sing, especially if things are going to get really tight, we need that more than any, more than anything, 
So I'm going to pull from the Modern Witch Tarot deck. If you want to support the channel, put a like on a video. See, I've got to get back into the swing of all this now, haven't I? Put a like on a video, support the channel. It really does help such a small channel over here get into the algorithm and hopefully stay in it a little bit. Uh, subscribe, turn your notifications on. And I do do personal readings. They're available from my website. I'm a bit behind on my... I've got a long list at the moment. So you may want to book it later on in the week. Um, or jump on my list. It's fine. Uh, I should, by the end of today, have caught up. But I'm trying to ease myself back in today. So, yeah, if you want a private reading, maybe order it towards the end of the week. I'm not doing jump the queue at the moment. Probably won't do jump the queue readings for a couple of weeks so it's five day delivery we'll see how we get on with that i'm going to split the deck into four four elements four seasons most importantly for angels just want a bit of clarification on each of the cards ace of cups on blessings being thankful for things we have got and the queen of wands reversed all of us all of us Every single one of us has one negative female in our life, whether it's a female teacher, a parent, a sibling, a friend, um, a boss, a colleague. And with the Queen of Wands reversed, she's often an information sharer and we don't always appreciate it. We never actually appreciate it. She thinks she's doing good. She doesn't see anything wrong in what she does, but she could be a little bit overbearing. She could be a little bit judgmental, but she does it in a way of feeling like she's giving herself brownie points for doing it. And she can make us doubt ourselves, or she can make us feel that we haven't quite got what we should have. When really, we've got many blessings that we're surrounded by, and our Ace of Cups is there, ready to be filled. And it's just rejecting that one person who makes us feel bad about ourselves with a smile on their face because they don't realise they're doing it. The Queen of Wands reverse, she genuinely doesn't seem to realise that she's done it. Um, yeah, she's always she always comes across to me as a, a mother-in-law or a mother or a teacher or just someone with the wrong kind of attitude. I sometimes describe her as the... We go to a girly lunch or we go out with the friends and it's a safe space and everyone's catching up and everyone's like sometimes the conversations get a little bit deep and we feel safe and we share and we're open. And then a week later, we realise that that one person who's queen of ones reversed has gone on to other people and relayed the information that she heard. And it's not because she's being malicious or being, well, she is being a gossip, but she thinks she's just sharing the information to help lighten the load. And we feel betrayed. We feel that was our safe space. We were all in that mind frame of being open and and it feels icky and it feels, it can destroy our confidence. We have to become the queen of swords against that. Whether you're male or female, we have to put boundaries in. And the boundaries are coming in with financial health. Now's the time to be very blunt with yourself, very bossy with yourself create a budget and stick to it no more messing about just stick to it whatever you want to take out of your bank just think i've got to clear it with the queen of swords she's not going to let you clear it unless you've got a really good reason the six of swords if you spend wisely over the next however long you're going to be moving on to a better future. There's going to be things in your life that you don't need, that you didn't realise you didn't need, or you're not even going to miss when they're gone. Um, when things like this come up in a read, and I say, go and have a look, go have a look through your bank statement, see what subscriptions you've got going out that you just don't even use. Cancel them. If you can cancel them without, you know, having a fee like Netflix, we can opt in, opt out whenever we want. If you haven't watched Netflix for a month, stop paying for it. Go and have a look. Because they're the little things that you won't miss. And sometimes it's that relieving ourselves of that subscription. We don't have the pressure then of thinking, I really need to find time to watch Netflix. No, if there's nothing on there at the moment that you want to watch, end it. If you're not going to the gym, cancel your membership. Go walking instead. If you are going to the gym, if you're making use of it, keep it 
But there's things on your bank statement going out that you're not making use of. Go and clear that up today and you could probably send yourself a chunk, save yourself a chunk of money. I tell you, the Seven of Swords is on passion. That's nice. The Seven of Pentacles is on passion. So the Sevens are quite interesting. They're already quite the way into the journey. If we're going one to ten, they're already over the, the hump. They're already over the hard time. But it's that leg of the journey is like, oh my goodness, I've still got quite a long way to go. It's like saying, right, okay, I'm going to run a 26-mile marathon. And you get to the mile 20. You've already done 20 miles. Only got six miles left, but it feels like they're the longest. Not that I've ever run a marathon. No, no intention to. But it's that last leg of the journey. It's that, oh, are we ever going to get there? And it's the time to start looking at what, what's slowing you down. What can be weeded out? What can be put away for a later date? What manoeuvres do you need to now be making to benefit the future you, to make this last leg a little bit better, but also your next journey a lot, a lot easier? And it's all to do with your passion. What are you passionate about? Get rid of the things that you're not passionate about. Make life a little bit easier for yourself. The King of Swords, very nice, on freedom. Ten of Pentacles. You may have to lock yourself down and do the things that you need to do. Um, but yeah, you're going to come out over the next six months wiser. You've got the King and Queen of Swords sat here. It's having that mindset, having the mindset of no one's going to trap me. No one's going to hold me back. I'm going to do what I need to do to carry on working towards my Ten of Pentacles in life and whatever that is. Um, sometimes we just have to refine it. Sometimes we just have to go, OK, so this branch of my Ten of Pentacles I'm working towards at the moment. The other branches are on hold and they will open up at a later date. Trust in yourself, the Five of Swords, what battles are worth fighting, what do we walk away from? And having the confidence with the King of Pentacles, it's all about your confidence, your stability. It's, it's a very clear mindset. Got a lot of swords and a lot of pentacles coming out. Sometimes the swords and the pentacles kind of hold each other's back. It's about having the ideas, but then we have to put the action in. Now, the Queen of Wands is reversed, so the fire for it is kind of... There's someone around you that makes you doubt yourself. I can see that you can do it. You've like well, this is what I want to do and this is all the ideas that I have and I know that I can, but this one person keeps telling me I can't or this negative voice within you keeps telling you you can't. Tell that negative voice to shut up. So tune out of whoever it is that's holding you back. You can do it. You can do it. On paper, it looks like it's going to work. It is working. Keep doing it. Lighten your load. The devil reversed. And the Nine of Cups, if you lighten your load, you'll be fine. If you don't give in to the temptation of that negative little voice, you're going to be fine. There's always going to be a little devil on your shoulder saying, telling you the opposite of what you're actually trying to do. Like, you're like, today I'm going to win. And the little devil on your voice is like, no, you're not. We have to drown it out. We just do. Nine of Cups, your wishes are going to be granted. Happiness, satisfaction. And you're not powerless. You have to have the confidence. You just do. You just got to have the confidence. And whoever the Queen of Wands is probably linked to the devil reversed. They make you feel frustrated. Use that frustration to benefit you. To be that fire to work towards whatever it is you're working towards. Because it feels like you're on a path to something great. Don't let the devil and the Queen of Wands reversed hold you back. Absolutely not. I'm going to re end reading here. I'm going to wrap you in a massive bubble of protection so that your angels can take you on your way. If you claim the reading, let me know. I really like it when people say, hey, I think this reading was for me. That's nice. If you want to put a purple heart in the comments, put a purple heart in the comments. It helps with engagement. But also, let some other people know that you also made it to the end of the reading. So, well done. If you'd like me to put a card for you, 
when I get round to it, request to put a card in the comments. I will have a little shuffle. I'll tell you what card I got. It may make sense, it may not. It is what it is. Private readings are available from my website. Just don't order them yet. Order them next, at the end of the week or next week. Oh, it's mayhem. Happy Monday. I will see you soon.